So hello everyone, in this video we will be covering the IK adjustment and the melee attacks for this character and we will be adding an inventory system to the character. So if you don't know how to download this character and how to download the Invector third person shooter, I've already created some videos about that so the link is in the i description so you can click this i, I icon above here somewhere. So let's start. So click your character and go to Invector, Melee Combat, then Component, then Melee Manager. So after you've added the Melee Manager, so it's here. I've added the Melee Manager, open your Gizmos and you'll see this. So press R key, then make them a little bit more bigger. Press R key again, select this only and make it a little bit bigger. And for the fourth, press R key. And there, down a bit, somewhere there, and then up a bit. So only this one is left. So now what are these things? So this, these are hitboxes. So if you don't know what hitbox is, hitbox helps you to damage something like if there's an enemy and the enemy hits the hitbox, then he will get damaged. But these hitboxes will remain disabled until you punch or kick so if you kick then the kick that has been acting will only enable the head hitbox these will be disabled else so let's test it no wait first let's add the inventory also and yeah one more thing if you come in game you cannot see any health or any other icon so click this aim canvas enable this you see here and click this vui and enable this so now it's good, so click your V shooter controller status, go to Invector, Inventory, Item Manager Player Only. So now select the Item Inventory Prefab, uh, search here Inventory. So click this Inventory Shooter Melee. And here also select the Inventory V Shooter Melee Item List Data and select your character first, then hit Create and it will add an inventory and some scripts like this one so let's test if it works so if i hit the play button so now you can see our character can see this so now our character can punch kick and also open the inventory like this so if i press the i key if i press the arrow keys this will be visible you can see the arrow and if i press the i key you can see the inventory is open if i press escape it will be closed i then e for items e for options and q for items q for so this is a default inventory comes with the in uh, uh, invector asset shooter controller so you can save items and then load items so let's move to the next thing so you noticed when we open the inventory then the this mouse button was this mouse was becoming invisible and was locked. So how to solve this? So right click here, don't right click. We have a scripts folder here, open this up. Sorry, go to assets folder. We don't have any scripts folder, right click, create folder and name it scripts. Open it and now create a C sharp script. Cursor always visible. You can do this or else there's an option in here like if you go there then in the melee manager so it was there in the older version I don't think so it's here in the newer versions let me check the third person camera also so here you should see this lock camera and other these are not checked but still the camera has been locked so to solve this error Create this script and name it whatever you want. So I'm naming it cursor always visible. So open the script in Visual Studio or Mono Develop any you have. So I recommend Visual Studio. It's the best. Let's just open the script. So the script has been the script has been opened. So 
here what we have to do is to go to the update function and no first of all we have to create a bool not now so the bool will be public bool is cursor visible and we will create a public void method here public void make cursor or we should name it cursor toggle so it's again loading and yeah so cursor toggle and here we have to do is cursor visible equals to a positive state of is cursor visible so if it's true it will become false if it's false then it will become true so if it's true here we'll write if is cursor visible then we want to do cursor dot lock state equals to lock cursor dot lock mode cursor lock mode dot none and cursor dot always will know cursor dot visible equals to true or equals to yeah equals to true and here we have to check one more thing if or we can say else if really this if statement here press enter so here we have to do locked and to the true we have to do false so now make it down and let's see if it works so now you'll be thinking why i created this public void cursor toggle method so we just have to enable this cursor just when we have an open an inventory or we have done something to unlock the cursor so whenever you want to unlock this cursor just call this method and it will enable this bool change it from false to true or true to false then the cursor will be visible so it's that easy so now the game controller add this script here is cursor visible i would say no it's it's not visible so in the v shooter controller status and we have an the item manager open events so on inventory on open close inventory we want to see only on open inventory so here we should do that like so we want to call this method here in the v game controller cursor always visible and cursor toggle so when we will open the inventory it will enable the cursor but when we will not open it it will disable the cursor like this if i press i now you can see our cursor is visible items options and we can use everything so now let's pick a weapon now add some enemies okay so now let's add some enemies like so to add enemies what you have to do is to open this invector then we want melee enemies or shooters so let's add melee enemies first they are shooter i don't think shooter have enemies so go to prefabs enemies and we have this we enemy ai a so enemy ai a and just click this room and go to navigation if you don't have this panel here click windows ai navigation and it will pop up and then you can just dock it here so so bake click on bake here and select this room and click bake now it will bake the name image for us uh, bake okay so it's not baking so go to object so make it navigation static and walkable now go to here and click bake so we have a walkable area here now so our enemy can walk and kill us or just damage us so go to game press ctrl s and hit the play button so in the next episode we will be looking after ik's and other stuff and how to create a new enemy so if i you can see the enemy is for enemy will follow me or look after me so this enemy is already created so let's see this is i can damage this enemy and this enemy can get damage from me and you can see how cool these animations are of invector so if i press tab you can see what happens 
and now let's kill this enemy oh it's going to die first let's see if it dies or my character dies so just five health is left i gave him five damage so so he's blocking it's a hard competition between me and this enemy let's defeat him and yeah he's dead now let me open the inventory and yeah it's working so thank you for watching my youtube tutorial for this pubg series episode 3 in the next episode we will be setting the ik and creating an enemy from scratch